Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, this is a new video. This is how to connect to Xbox Live with your iPhone, but except with the Wi-Fi. So no wires attached. This will be using your iPhone's data connection. So you have to have a data plan, otherwise AT&T or whoever you pay to get your service from, they will um, <laughs> My last video that I made about this, uh, how to connect to Xbox Live with an iPhone, uh, where you plug in the Ethernet cable into the back of the Xbox through a laptop, and then you connect this. It's kind of a complicated method. This one I like better. It's a lot simpler. It only works on the newer uh, Xboxes, the ones that have the built-in Wi-Fi, or ones that have the Wi-Fi adapter. Ones that have Wi-Fi is, is the point I want to convey. You need an Xbox with, with Wi-Fi. <laughs> you need a jailbreak and an iPhone. Uh, if you want to do this, you can see I pulled up on the computer screen my uh, my iPhone. A few things you might want to know first. Uh, the name of the software that I'm using is called MyY. It costs like 20 bucks. You only use this occasionally when you lose power. It's times like that, you know, when you're playing games by candlelight. Uh, Make sure to leave comments with your experiences with this. Be careful with this. You may end up having to pay money if you don't have a data plan or if you hadn't already. It's... I'm not really sure what, what goes on. I only use this once in a while. They don't do anything to me. But... They... Don't want you to be doing this. So if they catch you... I don't know how they do it, but they might uh, check the last video. A few people had some comments. They said, oh, AT&T, blah, blah, blah. Let's check that out. It's a potential danger. The connection speed, depending on where you are and how good your connection is with your iPhone or whatever type of phone you have that you're doing this with, you can do it with an Android phone. I just don't have, I don't have one of each. Why would I have one of each? You know, iPhone and an Android, you know, make no sense. With the connection speed here, I'm going to pull up some images I took of the upload and download speed. Uh, this is the best I was able to get. So that's the kind of uh, speed you can expect when you're downloading something, maybe downloading a demo or uploading something. When you play online, most of the gameplay it's pretty smooth. It's not bad. It's not bad. So overall, the, the quality of the connection compared to, say, a normal connection, it's obviously going to be inferior. But it ain't bad. Okay, let me show you how to hook this up to the Xbox. It's easy. Take one second. Okay, you go into Cydia, you download the software, MyY. Uh, give you a little link to it. Turn the phone on. That's one of the steps involved in this endeavor. Click on the icon to launch the uh, software. Again, I'm just doing this through my computer because it makes all this easier. This is what I like to name my Wi-Fi networks when I don't have a password. Not a virus. Anyway, okay, you click on advanced Wi-Fi. I just have this set on a channel that other people aren't using as much as the other channels. Now this one, Bridge 2. Uh, you, you, have the, you have two options here. You have 3G and you have Wi-Fi. If you select Wi-Fi, then what it's going to do is it's going to share whatever internet connection that you have established via your iPhone's Wi-Fi interface. It's going to share that with the Xbox. You want to put it on 3G if you want to use the phone's data connection. So that's a big thing you want to do. Okay, let's go back. And okay, AP mode, you leave it that way. Now DHCP network. Uh, if it doesn't work, you can try changing these, uh, selecting different ones. This will usually get it done. So that's not much of an issue. And you could pick a password if you feel like it. 
and okay, wow. let's do this. Boom, on. Okay, cool. You just go to settings, and then you go to uh, what is it? System, and it would be under uh, network settings. Then you you have the option to select wireless network if you have the Wi-Fi adapter or one of the ones with the built-in Wi-Fi. Anyway, once you select that, it'll show you all the available Wi-Fi networks that you can connect to. So watch, I'm going to hit scan again. Scans, finds the ones you can connect to. This is the, the one that I had just set up on the iPhone. Not a virus. I am connected to that. Uh, I had it set to connect to that because I had tested this beforehand. So that's why it connected automatically. Anyway, uh, cool. And we are on Xbox Live. I would uh, test a game. I, I don't happen to have a game. Except, well, I could play this, but I'd have to play online against someone. Anyway, yeah. There it is. Connects. I mean, it's going to be a little bit slow, but hey, it ain't bad. Hey, check this out. This is how I turned my Xbox on. And the way I found this out, I just, it was just a coincidence. I had this one of these plasma thingies, plasma balls, on, sitting on top of this damn Xbox. I turned it on and I touched it. The damn thing ejected the disc. Then I kind of figured out, like, how I, just, like, the, the exact way that I could order it in my hand to open the disc tray. Oh, that's kind of cool. Anyway, watch this. Wait, come on! It, it made a beep. Did you see that? Yeah, I tried ex explaining the baffling science behind that. I can't. 